everyone. Thank you for joining in to watch another one of my videos. I really appreciate everyone who stopped by to watch my video today. So today I'm just going to do a simple video. It's I'm going to show you how to glue your puzzle. Uh, anyone who knows me knows I love, love doing puzzles. It's one of my favorite pastimes. And, you know, puzzles are a lot of hard work. So I like to go ahead and glue them and hang them up after. Some people will... Um, you know, uh, destroy them, you know, mess them all up and do them again or give them to somebody else to do, which is always good. Sharing is caring, right? But um, I'm going to show you today how to glue your puzzle so that it basically lasts forever. Like, no matter what, it's not going to come apart. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. Um, so let's throw this aside. So one of the things you'll need is you'll need some Mod Podge. You could use gloss, satin, or whatever kind of, you know, um, the way you want it to look, whichever one that you want. Um, you'll need either a card or um, a sponge. I sometimes, I'll just use both, whatever. And then some tape, because that's how we... Uh, we keep the cup, uh, puzzle tape on the bottom. Now you could also use contact paper. Contact paper is probably best because it's wider and you can get you know more of a surface done uh, faster. Um, but I'm going with what we have. That's what we're doing today. So the first thing we'll do is we just when I do a puzzle, anytime I do a puzzle, I do it on wax paper. So I'll lay down some wax paper. A lot of the times you'll see that. Um, People will do the puzzle and then transfer it onto the wax paper. Uh, to me, that's doing too much. A lot of times I end up destroying the puzzle on places and stuff like that. So I just start off my puzzle already on wax paper. So one of the things you got to do is you got to wipe your puzzle down. You want to remove all the dust from the puzzle. And you just kind of want to flatten it while you're rubbing, you know, wiping it down. You want to flatten it. So all the pieces are together. Locked in pretty good. And then basically you're just going to get your Mod Podge. And you can, ooh, this is a little hard to open. Okay. So you can, you always want to wet your brush a little bit because I don't like it really hard where I do it. So I like it a little bit flexible. So then you basically just pour it on. I pour it like that in sections. And then just basically rub it in. Or I'm sorry, not rubber it in, but brush it on. I will go in different directions. Oops, that's all right. You can smooth it all over the puzzle. That's why sometimes having a, a credit card is better because a credit card will smooth it a, a, a lot evenly, more evenly. But I didn't have one. I don't know where mine was at. So I was just like, you know what? We're using a brush. We're using a brush. That's, not, that's how we're doing it today. You just want to put an even layer on it. I'll try to use some long strokes. And if I see any glue pieces, then I'll try to take those off. Sometimes it's a little. Just got to work it, that's all. 
Just got to work it. Stretching looks like it needs just a little bit more. Okay. Smoothing it out, just making sure we have a nice and even layer. Now I know you're looking at it, and it's, I don't know if you guys can see it in the camera, but it does have like a, like it looks like you messed it up with glue, but trust the process. It will dry just like I showed you the completed one. So trust the process. So that's one even layer. We're going to let that sit and dry. And then we'll come back and do a second layer. And then we will take the bath. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and your first layer is dry. So we want to go ahead and put another layer down. Oops. as I can. And then I just keep doing that all across the leg. Puzzle. <laughs>
And now, you've got your puzzle that will last forever. Thank you everyone for joining me on the bonus clip of this video. Now, I originally used the Scotch Mount Clear Adhesive Strips. They hold up to six pounds. It'll stick onto glass, tile, acrylic, metal. Uh, 1.5 pounds uses two strips, six pounds uses eight strips. It'll hold like little small containers like this um, up on a wall. These strips work really, really well. I really like them if I was gonna, um, you know, this was my house, if I wasn't renting, I would go ahead and use these strips because they definitely stick. I mean, it sticks really well. But when you want to remove it, it can do that. So I don't recommend it if you are if you have something that you um, need to remove and you're gonna cause damage to the wall. I wouldn't do that. But if you're gonna put it on somewhere where you don't really care about, then I would definitely recommend using these strips. Um, from a one to a five, I rate these a four only because the uh, strip is really hard. Um, to remove this part so they come with four of these which is eight strips now you can cut the strips down to size but this little 3m strip which is the other side of the adhesive on these little silicone pads it is so tough to remove if they would have had like a little lifting tab or something like that these definitely would have got a hundred percent in my book but that taking this paper off is like it took me like five ten minutes for the first one so <clears throat> I only recommend using those strips if you have are going to be using on a wall that you're not going to remove it from. So the three, um, the Scotch Craft ones is the ones that I used for to hang uh, the puzzle on the wall. I used four of these, and they work excellent. And then when I'm done, I just peel this part off, and no damage to the wall. I really didn't want this tab sticking out. That's why I had originally got, you know, this type of tab, but I don't want to create any damage to a wall. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with the 3M. The, I mean, the uh, yeah, the command strips, the 3M command strips. Let me know what you think. If you have any other tips for me, let me know. Thank you again for watching my video. Hope this helps. So I wanted to show you guys how strong this um Scotch tape is the Scotch mount tape that I used on the puzzle. So I used one of these. I had already cut it a little bit, so there's like a little square missing, but I basically used one side of these. And I put it on the back of this paint pan, uh, paint can. <laughs> it's right here. This can is probably about a little less than, I mean, a little more than halfway full. So let's see, let's do the test here. It's not a flat surface, so it probably won't hold as well. But if you have like a flat surface, it'll hold on there. So this tape holds pretty good. You have to go like this to take it off. But if you had something with a more flatter surface, of course, it would adhere to it a little bit more better and probably won't come off as easily. But you see right there, it's, it stays on there. You press it. Stay pretty good.